Everyone wants a crypto dip, but then when the crypto dip happens, people are scared to buy that dip. And today we are seeing a massive cryptocurrency crash. We're going to give you all the news surrounding this crash and exactly what I am doing, which coins I am looking at. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these videos. Smash the like button if you're enjoying the type of content we're putting out, as well as check out the VIP group we recently launched. We are giving you guys access to some private sales some pre-sales as well as you also get access to all of my buys and sells and direct access to me so check that out if you're interested and we also have that free version of our discord too so if we take a look at crypto bubbles i am recording this on a saturday you're watching this on sunday but ultimately saturday was a bloodbath for cryptocurrency as we can see nothing is red everything is down you know 10 to even 30 percent in some cases altcoins are getting crushed and people are freaking out but again like warren buffett said best be greedy when others are fearful and this is exactly the point of this video because everyone wants a dip and then when the dip happens you know you have things that are down at 20 percent just because the entire market is collapsing because of certain news well, people are just going to be like, oh, well, you know what? I'm not going to buy because it's going to go lower. And that's why you dollar cost average, meaning that you buy bits and pieces of your favorite plays as they continue going down. But if we take a look at what has it caused this entire sell off in, you know, the cryptocurrency market. Well, we can see that Coin Telegraph has posted this article saying Bitcoin nosedive as political tensions escalate in the Middle East. So we see here that Iran has essentially launched an attack on Israel. I'm not going to get into all of those political debates, but ultimately we see the impacts that it has had on the crypto market. And I assume on Monday we're going to see the impacts of that with the New York Stock Exchange and you know the all of the stock exchanges that we have so this is unfolding right in front of us and if we take a look at bitcoin well so this is unfolding right in front of our eyes and if we take a look at a bitcoin's chart here well what do we see we see that it has plummeted over the day if i bring you to let's say a four hour chart we definitely do see some nice big red candles the volume is there but it's not too too crazy as of yet lots of liquidations happening in the market as well but what do we see we hit this level of support once again right around this sixty thousand dollars for bitcoin and right now we're back hovering around at sixty two thousand five hundred but again who knows if this is going to continue coming down ultimately you know we are nearing the bitcoin having now this is happening so we have some negative news but we also have some positive news with the bitcoin having coming in the next week so obviously a lot of people are freaking out right now the market is freaking out and that is the result of you know everything that has happened to date so again if we take a look at the coin market cap and this is where your watch lists are going to come in play because we have so many different coins so many coins are on a sale quote unquote and if we take a look at let's say solana it's down at 26 percent over the last seven days which is absolutely crazy but if we take a look at my watch list and again this is why i would recommend you guys having a watch list if we go on to my gaming coins and i just want to see which one is down the most over the last 24 hours well i just toggle this and it's going to show me in Instantly, that Bad Mad Robots is down at 30% over the last 24 hours, literally over the last day. And over the last week, it's down at 38%. Now, I am a believer of this project, which is why I posted in my VIP group chat that I did buy some more on this dip. Bought some around 0.032, so 3.2 cents, and now it's at 3.4 cents. But again, I don't care if this continues going down, because if it does, I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging. I didn't put, you know, thousands of dollars into this play at 3.2 cents. I only put a, a couple hundred dollars and so that I still have some more you know money to invest if it does continue going lower because again ultimately I'm bullish on the outcome of Bitcoin I'm bullish on the outcome of altcoins and we have the most bullish event coming to us in the matter of a week which is 
that you know bitcoin having so again having a watch list you can see that these coins are down quite heavily we also have Citus, we have theta van chain down 21 percent gala down 22 percent we have playable down 20 percent beam 20 percent so again all of these coins that you know are down quite heavily and that you may have wanted to pick up back in october well some of these coins are back really close to where they were in october so again have a look at these if we take a look at some of these ai coins that we are tracking well, look at this. We have, you know, ChainGPT down 22%. Node AI is down 37%. If you are bullish on that one, have a look at it. We have a cash at $3. We have a Filecoin down 17%. So again, all of these plays, render is a sub $7. And all of these plays, if you are, you know, if you have conviction in them, are this is the opportunity that you've been waiting for I'm not telling you to go throw all of your money in it because the market is very volatile right now it goes up it goes down like crazy and i'm just saying you know look at these positions and do your own due diligence on creating the portfolio that you want to create so if we take a look at what whales are doing on a dex check and again this is completely free go on to dex check go on to crypto whales tracker and you're going to be able to see what people are buying what people are selling and the first thing we notice here is that people are buying a bunch of bitcoin you see this guy here he bought a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars worth of bitcoin another one here we have you know a bunch of people buying a beam a pepe coin a based ai so many different plays and you notice here that most people are actually buying and not selling we have a few people selling here and there we have some pretty big trades as well but some people are definitely you know loading up the bag btc is the one that people are buying up currently of course there's going to be a lots of liquidations but you can have a look at a dex check and see what these whales are doing with the large you know trades that are happening here you also see chain link it was at 12 dollars absolutely crazy you know it's back to where it was just back in october so we can see that there are so many different opportunities and one of the ways you can actually see you know who's buying if you're bullish on a specific coin let's go and take a look at chain link for example type in the link in the token search bar then scroll down here you're going to be able to see look at that chart it went all the way to 12 dollars. absolutely crazy you can't see it because my face is in the way but here you have it down to 12 dollars in the matter of a few candles but scroll down here and you're going to be able to see who is buying and who is selling if you have access to their premium tools you can also see the smart money but just take a look at this you know we're on april 13th we see one two and three four trades in you know people selling but most of these people are buying up chain link and again this is the opportunity that we've been waiting for a lot of people talk about dips and when dips happen people are scared to buy but basically the moral of the story here is when people are fearful, be greedy because again, we're not even close to the peak of the bull market. I still believe there's going to be a great run up for a Bitcoin and altcoins following the Bitcoin halving in the months to come. I think we're going to see great things happen in this crypto market. We're seeing a dip now and this is again an opportunity to continue dollar cost averaging in your favorite plays. So with all of that being said, just a quick video to recap what's been happening. I am continuing to buy some of my favorite plays the link in the description below brings you to that discord if you want to join the vip and see what i'm doing well you can join or join the free discord and of course if you've enjoyed this video smash the like button let me know the coins you're buying in this dip down in the comment section below and if you are new here make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace